Hi, I'm Amber. And I'm Ro. And this is LeithCars.com's He Said. She Said. We're looking at the 2021 Bronco, and this is a wild track trim on Sasquatch wheels. This is something Ford brought out of the grave to give back to the people who've been begging for it. And this baby's a beast. We're gonna take a close look. So this is a 2021 model, but we're already in 2022 for the Bronco, uh, the full size Bronco. Already in 2022 for ordering the full size Broncos, that is okay. correct. Okay, now the Bronco Sports have been out for a little while now, but they're mm -hmm. much smaller. This one's got a more squat, wide, right aggressive sort of a ready to rumble look right right, right? this is more of your um off-road everyday um type of vehicle it's the one that you're going to want to take make a left turn go off on some dirt path itself mm -hmm. just kind of see the way that it handles at that very portion that's what this one is actually designed for all right we got a gravel lot let's do some donuts a bit of a gravel lot. might as well oh down. wait here we go here we go here's some bumpage ah, there we go bump, 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 bump. No spin. Oh, that is it's mine. holding on. There's some mud. Let's get it. <laughs> Boom, mud. <laughs> Here it goes. Mud again. <laughs> <laughs> you come on inside the Bronco, there are a few things that I think are worth talking about. We got a lot of modes to drive in here, and it's something Ford has started calling GOAT, and that is go over all terrain. And you have a setting, a spin wheel right here in the middle that helps you control what mode you want to use based on the terrain you're covering. And also the automatic is a 10 speed automatic, which takes all that power and really makes it as smooth a ride as possible. And you will not feel the shifting of that 10 speed automatic. It's really cool. And another tiny, tiny little thing that may seem a little silly is that there are Broncos all over everything. They are, you'll find little details all inside and outside, but there's no Ford badging, just Bronco badging. Another really big factor of the uh, Bronco four door models as well, specifically, all four of these doors are very, very removable. All it takes is two bolts, one quick, easy on latch, and you can fit all four doors across the rear trunk area, right? Now with that, you know, in some situations on some vehicles, when you take off all four doors, you know, there's a little nifty thing that you lose out, which is your mirrors. Great thing about that is Ford thought about that. They placed the mirror itself right on top of the hood so that once you take the doors off, you're still able to have the full vision of what's coming up behind you, right? And when you come on in on the interior, just from stepping away from that side, if you come over and you take a look, right? On all these Bronco models, the good thing about it is you've got all your electronics, high standard electronics that are gonna be right up front. With that, the problem that you usually have is, hey, let's say you go out one day and you run into a little bit of a situation where you get caught in the rain, top down or top off. In most situations you would think, oh, I've got to park underneath a bridge or wait underneath a bridge or anything like that. In these cases with the Bronco, everything up front is gonna be fully waterproof so that you'll be good to stay safe and get a little wet sometimes. But right on up front up here as well, you've got a couple of really, really cool factors. You've got your winch, which is built on in, hooked up to the interior of the vehicle, which is almost just a remote switch itself. Now, I know it's maybe a little insane to get so excited about a tire, but I'm very excited about this tire. Look at this, I'm 5'5", five five, and this is almost a half of me. This is taller than a toddler, and this is the Sasquatch package, which comes with the wild track trim, but it is an option on the others too. But this tire, when you're riding on it, I mean, you're feeling it's got everything covered. You're not gonna hit anything that this is gonna react to, except maybe a building, don't hit a building. Here's one of my tests for cars. Here we go, turn and radius. Turn and radius, oh, I am such a geek <laughs> about a turn and radius. And this is a big old, that's a big old, a big old hunk of American steel, would you that's say? That's what I would that's say. That's right. So let's see, <laughs> what, what, what's your guess? You think I, I will be completely honest with you. I hate to say it, but have I driven it once or twice before? <laughs> yes, I have. All right, here we go. Turn radius wise, I will tell you what, you absolutely love it. Check okay, here we go, here go we go. Go for it. Let's see, now I know that's enough room, but let's see how much extra It's gonna cut it a lot shorter. You, all right. That's a lot tighter turn than I thought we'd get, a lot. Now, I like the way this drives, and I drive, again, a sedan that's got right. really tight handling, 
this is not what you're going to be driving if you're trying to take corners at 70 right, miles an hour. Right. Definitely Do not, not try that at home, corners at 70 You can miles try, but you might not come out of the corner. Right, but I tell you what, <laughs> my sedan doesn't uh, have a top like this either. Another one of my favorite parts is the way this back door opens. So much easier getting out, in and out. <laughs> and then this is where you would store all of your accessories. Now something that the Bronco does that the competitors do not is that you, as Rose said, can store all four doors in the back. You know what the good thing about this one as well? Um, about the Bronco, um, you know, if you're not a flashy person, I will promise you this, after you get a Bronco, you will be the most flashy person in town. Come everyone, on. Everyone notices you. Well, there's so few of them out right now that, is that right. when you see one go by, it, it you turns have to stop heads. And look. It turns heads for sure. So if we got to get down to favorite, like what's your favorite part about the new Bronco? For me, it was that they went back in time and they picked those mid 70s Bronco look and they really gave us an alternative to everything that's out on the street right now. This really, really stands out, especially in the new colors. And when you see it go by, it evokes the image of the mid 70s Broncos and they really, really look similar. similar. I think that that's the coolest part is going back to that design. What do you think? What was your favorite part, Ro? I have to agree 100%. Um, you know, Ford really went back towards that vintage look that they had beforehand with the uh, older model Broncos. They really gave the customers what they were asking for. Yes, they did. It turned out absolutely gorgeous, and I think this really stands out going down the road. So, that's our wrap-up of the 2021 Ford Bronco. I'm Amber. And I'm Ro. Thanks so much for joining us for LeithCars.com's He Said. She Said. See you next time. <laughs>